I remember being in college and I had the first floor bedroom and there was such loud noises coming from the living room that it was thumping on my wall and all I wanted to do was hide in my bedroom. There was rap music, red solo cups, big speakers, and far more people than I was ready to interact with. Parties didn't really excite me, they just made me anxious and as a college student in a sorority that didn't really fly with too many of my peers. I remember feeling so worried that I know I would be so tired after experiencing all that stimulation and I just knew it would drain me of the precious energy that I needed to feel fully alive the next day. So no one would know except for a couple of my closest friends and even they knew, they heard me and they respected me, but they didn't really get it, they couldn't truly relate. And once I had mustered up the courage to open my door and go be around everybody, I actually really wasn't that shy at all. Like I would give hugs and I would chit chat with everybody and I would make conversation. So I was never really the life of the party, but I definitely didn't make it worse. Until that is, I was ready to leave. I felt a pang of emotion come over me. I, I heard my body screaming at me, Amanda, okay, you are done here. Abort mission, retreat back to safety and get back to the quiet so you can feel happy and alive tomorrow. In a world where we reward extroverts, introverts can feel really out of place and disconnected. Why can't I be more enthusiastic? Why do I feel so reserved when asked to go to a party? Why do I rack my brain for excuses in order to get out of social situations? Why am I not like everyone else? And after a while, I finally allowed myself to feel the judgmental eyes of my peers when I said, no thank you, I'm gonna stay home and read a book tonight instead. Holding to my truth gave me such a rush of empowerment. But at first, I was not super confident in my delivery. I would say things like, I, uh, I have a test on Monday and I have to wake up early tomorrow, or I'm kind of sick tonight, I think I'm just gonna stay in. And I would create these excuses and stories and not say my truth. But my big goal was finally to be able to just speak my truth and say, I just don't wanna go and I wanna stay home. But the truth is, we don't need to feel shame and guilt for not being outgoing in a society that praises those who are. We have some truly incredible qualities like deep thinking, strong connection, self-awareness, ability to enjoy alone time, negotiation without ego, introspection, analysis, being able to truly listen, make powerful decisions, calm and deliberate speaking, thriving working alone in business, and more. And when you allow yourself to truly step into that and step away from being someone that you're not, magic can really happen there. Some of the best past and present leaders are introverts. Rosa Parks, Steve Wozniak, Barack Obama, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates, Hillary Clinton, Mark Zuckerberg. This is my message for all the introverts out there. Stand strong in your personality traits and view them as strengths. Just because you're not naturally assertive, outgoing, or the life of the party does not mean that you can't thrive in your own right. Your most natural state of being is where you're going to feel the most in flow and the most authentically yourself. You can shine strongly regardless of how you identify yourself. You are not wrong and you are not alone.